The clinical implications of these uh, findings, I, I think there are several. Uh, from the first uh, standpoint, it's from the clinical aspect. Um, so we know these patients uh, who we typically uh, approach with a wait and see uh, management, we think that we could potentially uh, delay the next time of uh, next treatment. Uh, and so patients with IDH mutant glioma, we have to think about them differently. These are patients who ultimately will have disease progression at some point, and ultimately the disease will become more aggressive down the line. Uh, so any way that we can potentially delay the next time of treatment we think is beneficial. So from a clinical standpoint, I think the data supports um, a potential new standard of care and adding a target therapy. Uh, the second thing I think um, that we've learned from this study is scientifically um, that targeting uh, these specific gliomas uh, with this drug actually has clinical impact, meaning the targeting the, mo the molecule, targeting the, the mutation, and the secondary um, epigenetic genetic um, dysregulation uh, leads to um, some benefit. So I think this will likely lead to many other studies of combining IDH inhibition with uh, other uh, mechanisms such as immunotherapy uh, and other targeted agents.